Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2, uh, where today John Cole and I are speaking with Bill Jordan, the founder of Embrace the Boom and somebody who really embraces He does. Boom. He's, he's an embracer. Well, I, I've got to because I, I got a, oh. I, you know, I got a garage full of these mugs. So I've got, I've got no choice. <laughs> right. Hey, Bill. Well, minus two. <laughs> yeah, minus minus a few, minus a few. It's, it did they're okay out of the box. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll get it going again. You know what I really like about them is that they're big. Okay, they're they big. are big. And when you People put them call it a cup, here, it's not a cup. It's a mug. You don't you don't burn your hand on it because it's it's a, a substantial. Ryan knows some of those little right. kind of thin ones. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Bill. I want to get down to something important here, and the word is. As we used to read in the uh, in the in the up in, when we lived in New York and we're looking for an apartment, it would be an apartment with a, with a FERPLIC, F R P L C, FERPLIC. Oh yeah, 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 the Abbreviation yeah. for fireplace. Yeah. Fireplace. Yeah. Fireplace. Fireplace. So anyway, uh, we we built we built a house just three years ago and we had the option of putting in a fireplace, and we thought real hard about it, but we didn't put it in. I'm not sure why. Uh, of course, now I'm missing it. I would love to have a fireplace. Well, Do you have a fireplace? in Southern California, John, so, you know, it's more visual than that's, that's for most of the true, year. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I think um, women love fireplaces. Really? I, I think guy, I think everybody kind of likes a fire. Well, I, I can't speak for everybody. We, yeah. We've had, we've lived in rental homes with fireplaces. We've had a uh, home with a wood stove, basically heated the house with it. That gets kind of dirty, and you think about what all you're breathing in and all that stuff. We now have gas logs with a uh, blower. So as long as I keep the LP tank up, um, you know, we, we run that, uh, that, those gas logs with the blower, and that can kind of our, keep our living area downstairs. And then, it, and then the heat does go upstairs and it helps heat the upstairs as well. Uh, I like the ambiance, the ambiance, the ambiance, the uh, yeah, environmental vibe of uh, of having the fireplace um i also like this is taking it outside i've got one of those you know old school 55 gallon drum barrels my burn barrel because i end up with yard stuff i need to get rid of i've got no place to put it we're out in the county away from raleigh so we don't have city trash come and pick up whatever you put on the curb so i got to get rid of it by burning it and i just there's something primal about a fire um and then just like a kid, you know, sometimes I get a little risky, uh, you know, adding a little more lighter fluid to it and stuff like that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't, you know, boom. So I've, I've painted these eyebrows in, by the way. Um, <laughs> but what Santa brought me was something I'd asked for was a solo stove. And it's the bonfire edition. And I've got it out on our back deck and I've got it on a little pad. They say you don't need the pad, but I like it for like, you know, a pad that would go into your grill or something. And it's a stainless steel cylinder, and it's got air holes in it, and the air flows. It burns super cleanly, very little smoke, and it's just a really neat thing to have on chilly nights. Go outside, light up the fire, talk, chat. You got friends over, whatever it might be, a little social time around this fire. And it actually, it's it's become quite a thing. People have, I, I don't know what I have noticed uh, online, social media, and everywhere else. Everybody's been showing off their fire pits and solo stoves and whatever else they've got. Yeah. I mean, for months now. It has, for whatever reason, it has taken off. Not just a fireplace in your house, but a fire pit or something like it outside of your house. Sure. Oh, yeah. A lot of people out here have uh, these uh, propane or natural gas uh, fired, uh, 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 I, I guess it's a conversation pit, but, it, you know, within that pit, there's a uh, fires there or a lot of people have the like you see at restaurants propane heaters yeah. that yeah. generate so you can you can enjoy the outside because even here it gets cold at night yeah. um uh but it, i could see where yeah by the way uh speaking of uh when you were a kid and you were burning stuff were you burning stuff in a burn pit i remember when we were growing up uh, as kids we'd rake the we'd rake the leaves and then you'd burn the leaves in the backyard it was oh, like, yeah. re really magical Yep. And I've got stories about burning leaves. We lived on a long curved lot in Newport News, Virginia. 
big oak trees and I would rake them all to the curb and I would have the whole curb like with a pile of leaves, like three feet high. And then I would light it in various places. I would have a wall of flame. <laughs> Because if you did that today, you'd people be, were probably you'd, afraid to drive by the house. But if you did that today, you'd be sent to juvie. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. So I burn, <laughs> I burn, I burn. Um, you know, here in this in the burn barrel, and you know, nobody's complained yet. You know, I'm again. We're out in the county, and uh, uh, I, very very little complaining. Every now, I try not to burn on the weekends if people are out and about in their yards and stuff. People sometimes will complain about that, but you know. Weekday, if people are shut in or whatever, especially if it's a little colder, I'll, I'll go out there and, and burn something. So hey, I have a question for you. Have you, uh, uh, g given that you're in a colder climb than we are, uh, have you ever thought about, uh, uh, I, I always used to admire, we never had one when I lived back east, these uh, like pot belly stoves that would sit in the corner of a room and they, they apparently were very, very efficient even if you had your normal heating system, but you could heat up an entire downstairs of a house by throwing in logs. And well, we've never had the pot belly stove, but again, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier, we did have a wood stove, which is an insert into your fireplace, uh, and it came with a blower, and, and it had a flat top on it, the way it would sit out from the fireplace. I mean, you could heat soup up on it. I mean, you could cook on it almost. Uh, in a, in, I mean, you could heat something. I wouldn't put an egg on top of it, <laughs> but you could, uh, you could put a skillet on there and definitely maybe do a little bit of cooking. Uh, normally we just used it for heat, but the pot bellied stove in the corner of the room. No, nah, haven't done that. Only, only, um, uh, only the insert into the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you guys from personal experience that pot belly stoves when, you know, way back when, when that was the technology, they were great, but they are nothing compared to the modern stoves, the inserts with the blowers. Mm -hmm. And, and some of them don't even have uh, electrical assisted blowers. They just have pipes that come up and they, they, the heat transfers right, right into right, the room. Right. Those things are fantastic. The, the no, new and engineering the, and, you know, of those you're not, kinds and, of things and, and you've got the gas, you're not you know, hauling, you know, yep. bringing in wood all the time right. and dropping wood chips everywhere. And then the, yeah. stuff that, the stuff that likes to live in your wood piles, you're not having to deal with that, especially in spring and summer. Yeah. Uh, also, with not, the fire danger that we have here on the uh, West Coast, uh, right. many times of the year, you're not even allowed to burn a, a wood fire in your fireplace, right. even with the right. even with the uh, spark arrestors that uh, all chimneys are required to have out here. So right. this has been this has been, I would say, um, uh, perhaps you'll agree, you won't, a hot topic. I, I agree. A hot, a hot topic. I agree. A very hot topic. Okay, how this are we gonna fireplace and fireplaces are is just you know uh, I mean even even like at Christmas time to have the tree up, and then we're burning a fire. Man, it's just I don't know. It looks like a little picture from Better Homes and Gardens. I, I just love it. Mm. Yeah, I think it, I, mostly it is more of a romantic, particularly right. in Southern California where we are. It's more of a romantic vision than it is really a practical necessity. Right. Yeah, we try to combine it around here. Yeah. So how are we going to get out of this conversation? It seems we've been trying to do that for about oh, the I'll, last I'll minute or two. I, I got the out. <laughs> oh, the okay. out is, let's go back to the burning leaves. Mm -hmm. What we didn't talk about, and we don't have time to talk about it now, but jumping in the leaves as a kid. Oh. Pile of leaves. Before you burn them, jump right in. Or your dog. Yeah. Yeah. Run into there's, there's some great videos online of dogs launching into piles of leaves, man. If you want, if you're feeling a little down or a little sad, just look it up on YouTube, dogs and leaves, and you will, I mean, it will turn you around in a heartbeat. Yeah. Just, right. you know what, maybe maybe we ought to start a, a website called Embrace the Leaves. Maybe um, not. I'll leave that, that to you. Right. Okay. <laughs> My hands are full. Good. Okay. Bill, thanks for reminiscing with us and uh, stay warm. Always a pleasure, guys, and I will do my best. Okay, see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.